Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ATF, today we discuss how to debug a test in ServiceNow ATF. Okay, so let's go to the instance. Let's open one of the tests. So we will work on this one. This is basic record producer. We already have explained overview and what is parameterized testing and how to do it. Okay. So please watch our previous videos. Two videos are there and then come back to this video. It will be more beneficial. So now let's discuss the very basic question. What is debugging? Debugging is finding a bug, right? And in any procedure, any programming language, what you will do while debugging? You will go step by step and find which step is having such error. And once you have that error, you can fix it. This is known as debugging. So the same concept goes with ATF as well. In any test of ATF, you have to go step by step and find the particular error. Okay, and how to do so? You have to come here. You see, these are the steps. Okay, these steps are executing automatically one by one. But we have to stop that particular execution and manually execute the test so that you will understand that this step is executing like this and this is the result this is the input and this is how it is traversing so all these things can be measured manually by adding a breakpoint so how to add a breakpoint right click here and click on add or remove breakpoint so this is the indication of a breakpoint you can add breakpoint to any number of step so what this breakpoint signifies this breakpoint tells the system that please stop the automatic execution from the point from the breakpoint so what will happen whenever we click on debug test okay it will execute the very first step and then it will stop here from there onwards we can traverse manually let me show you so for that you have to click on debug test along with breakpoint you have one more option you see pause before rollback so you already know what is a rollback when rollback happen Whenever a step executes, after its successful execution, the system will automatically roll back all the changes done by the system. It means all the record, all the testing data which is created will be automatically rolled back. So you have to select this check if you don't want the data to be rolled back automatically. Okay. As we are testing, so we want to see the data. That's why this option is given. Okay. So once we do that, click on run test. So now focus carefully you see here the test is started it is running the step one that is opening the record producer right the same thing you can measure from here it is started from here and you see it is executed the very first step and it is paused at the breakpoint because we have added the breakpoint at number two step so if you come here you see it is paused here and one more thing this pause activity will last only for 10 minutes it means you are getting 10 minutes and then it will start it will go to next step okay so in that 10 minutes it is very easy for you to see what is happening so now it is paused at step number two and you have two options here either continue or go to the next step so what is the meaning of continue you see here continue test execution until the next breakpoint it means Whenever the next breakpoint will come, once you click on continue, it will go till there. But in the next icon, you have the option to execute the test to the next step. So we will execute now. We will go to the next step and see how the step two is working. Click on it. You see here urgency and this is updated. It is the step two, right? again it is paused because we only ordered the system to move it to next step now you have to click on again click on next step it is submitting the record producer now this is the step number three you see it is submitted properly again you see the same thing happening it is coming to step number four click on it step number four is opening the incident so incident is opened properly okay so step number four is also complete again it is paused for 10 minutes 
that is on step number five click on it next step again it is paused now click on it you see here the very first activity is complete it means the very first circle of this test is complete as you know we opted for pause at rollback as well so it is pausing right now at rollback okay so once i click on step over it will commit the rollback and it will start execution of the next loop that is with parameter urgency equal to 2 click on step over you see rollback is completed now so now the second circle will work you see again it is paused at number 2 if you click here look at the urgency it will be now 2 yes 2 medium is coming here so this is how the complete circle goes and it will provide enough opportunity to find out to evaluate all the steps properly and find out where the issue is where the error is so finally once you are done click on continue once you click on continue it will go to the next circle that is uh, uh, urgency equal to 3 and then finally finishes the test so ladies and gentlemen this is how we debug in ATF I hope you got it if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you so much bye bye